When I cover a Jane or John Doe case, usually there isn't an arrest, the killer doesn't get caught, and the victim doesn't get some sort of justice. This case is different. Lisa Jane Doe's killer is behind bars, and her last moments are somewhat known, but her name is still a mystery. Lisa was known to be a prostitute. This doesn't make her story any less important. She is a human, and she deserves to have her name back. I want to cover this even though it is partially solved. In my eyes, Lisa's case will remain unsolved until she reclaims her identity. Let's cover her story now. Michelle, Michelle, you are a monster from hell. Michelle. On the 13th of November 2000, a headless body was found on the grounds of a soldier's home in Crest Avenue, Chelsea, Massachusetts. The Jane Doe had been dead for 24 hours. Her hands were also cut off. She had no jewellery, clothing or accessories but was found rolled in a carpet. The Jane Doe's estimated age was anywhere between 17 and 25 years old. Her race was black with possible East Indian or Asian ethnicity. Her height was 50255. She weighed between 100 to 130 pounds. It's not known what her eye colour is, and her shoe size was 8.5. Her hair colour was brown with reddish tint. It's thought that her hair was dyed. The Jane Doe had several dental fillings and also had a slight overbite. This means her dentals are available, but her fingerprints and DNA are not. Her cause of death was homicide by strangulation. When her hands and head were recovered, she was found wearing a wig and also had purple nail polish. At the time, this was all the evidence for the Jane Doe's case. It was doubtful that her killer would get caught or that the Jane Doe would regain her identity. Everything changed when police looked at surveillance footage of the night of the Jane Doe's death. Surveillance footage captured a man named Eugene McCollum dumping the body of the Jane Doe. After Eugene was arrested, he told police what happened. Even though he has admitted all of this, I would still take it with a grain of salt. Eugene stated that the Jane Doe was a prostitute that he picked up in Boston. The Jane Doe told Eugene that her name was Lisa and that she was native to Philly. Eugene then took the victim to his room at the YMCA at Lynn. After getting into the room, the pair started arguing over payment, and as a result, Eugene decided to strangle Lisa to death. He cut off her hands and head and buried them in a nearby beach. He wrapped Lisa's body in carpet and left her at a soldier's house. Lisa's hands and head were discovered in 2004. Eugene McCollum pleaded guilty to second degree murder in 2005 and was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 15 years. After doing additional research, I found out that Eugene's life sentence will follow another 10 to 12 year sentence. This one is from Eugene pleading guilty to the manslaughter and decapitation of John Jackie Linden. Records say that he will be eligible for parole in 2027. Even though Lisa's killer is behind bars and we know what happened to her, her identity remains a mystery. Lisa Doe was between ages 17 and 25 years old. Her last known location was in Boston, and it's possible she's a native to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She died in late 2000. If you or someone you know recognizes Lisa, please call 617-267-6767. Her case number is 2000-3244. Somewhere out there, Lisa's family is waiting for answers, and I think they deserve that. Lisa's story is a tragic one. Maybe she lost her way and didn't make the best decisions, but no one deserves the fate she received. I'm happy that Lisa got some justice, but I wish that she had her name back. But hopefully, one day, Lisa will reclaim her name. If you have any unheard cases you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments and I will review them. 
With that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Michelle. Michelle.